हेलो एंड वेलकम टू नेहा कुक हाउस विद आलू की सब्जी दिस आलू करी सब्जी इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट एंड आई एम श्योर इट विल बिकम अ रेगुलर डिश इन योर किचन इट्स मेड फ्रॉम पोटेटोज टमेटो पेस्ट एंड मिक्सचर ऑफ स्पाइसेस इट्स क्विक टू मेक सो कैन बी मेड फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट लंच और डिनर सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द इनग्रीडियंट्स टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग इट थ्री मीडियम साइज बॉइल्ड एंड मैश पोटेटोज हाफ कप टमेटो पेस्ट क्वार्टर कप चॉप्ड कोरिएंडर, वन टेबल स्पून कुकिंग ऑयल वन टेबल स्पून जिंजर पेस्ट क्वार्टर टी स्पून हींग वन टी स्पून कश्मीरी रेड चिली पाउडर सॉल्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू टेस्ट हाफ टी स्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर वन टी स्पून क्यूमिन सीड्स हाफ टी स्पून कोरिएंडर सीड्स हाफ टी स्पून गरम मसाला वन टी स्पून कोरिएंडर पाउडर वन टी स्पून ड्राई मैंगो पाउडर So let's start cooking. First I have boiled, peeled and mashed potatoes with this consistency. I have mashed potatoes to medium sized chunks as they taste good in curry. Now let's crush coriander seeds coarsely using a pestle which will give unique coriander flavor to sabzi. I am using pestle but you can also use a grinder. They should look like this much coarse after crushing. Meanwhile I am also mixing all these spices together before cooking. So add turmeric and hing then coriander powder and kashmiri red chili powder this chili powder is not very spicy and also gives nice red color to curry we will use this spice mixture later in the recipe now let's start cooking first take a pan on medium high heat then add 1 tablespoon cooking oil when oil is hot put heat to low and add 1 teaspoon cumin seeds crushed coriander seeds and when they stop spluttering add 1 tablespoon ginger paste now stir it a little and let them cook on low heat for 30 seconds after 1 minute add the spice mixture we made earlier cook it for 30 seconds so that their rawness goes away Adding them at this time will also give nice color to sabzi. Now add tomato paste and mix it well with the spices. Now cook them on medium heat for 3 to 4 minutes till all water dries out. Once tomatoes are cooked, stir it a little and add boiled potatoes. and mix them well with tomato masala After that add salt 1 teaspoon amchur powder and mix them well with potatoes When they are mixed well add water and stir it so that all spices and flavors mix well with sabzi in total i have used 2 and a half cup of water now cover the pan put heat to medium and let it cook for 8 to 10 minutes after 10 minutes let's check it you can see that gravy has become nice and thick so finally add half teaspoon garam masala Half teaspoon kasuri methi which is optional and quarter cup chopped coriander leaves to give nice taste and aroma to aloo sabzi now mix them well and switch off the gas now our sabzi is ready so take it out in a bowl and serve Aloo sabzi is looking really good with bright reddish color and texture of gravy. This aloo curry usually goes well with puri, paratha or roti. It's easy, quick to make and also tasty yummy. So try this version of aloo ki sabzi at home. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. For latest recipes, please follow Neha's Cookhouse on all social media. Have a healthy eating.